Hello and welcome. My name is Marilyn Shannon and this is Breaking Free. And I, uh, don't I look like that? <laughs> and I am really happy to see you all today. I missed you. I was away last week visiting with my mother and I'll get into that in a minute, but it's really nice to have you all join us today. And I know that your time is very precious. So I want to make the most of our time together. And I want to encourage all of you to please sign into the chat if you want to. That way you can take part in some of the conversation that goes on there. So just put your name, nickname, whatever on the line near the, uh, the uh, video and you can take part in that. Or throughout the show, you are more than welcome to call in, ask questions, share, whatever. We'd love to have you. You can do that at 919-518-9773 or you can Skype in with us. To computers, that's plural, the number 2K voice, and we will hear you over Skype. So if you're somewhere in the world and you don't want to call a regular phone number, check us out on uh, Skype. We'd love to have you. So I want to say hello to Amnon. Hello. How are, How are you? you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Then. Very good. Are you warming up? Yeah. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my <laughs> God. I've been so cold. But I'm not complaining because I know yeah. that there are places that are far colder Absolute, than here. Yeah. But but you know, still, we're not used to this. Not yeah, not yeah, such yeah. a what almost two week two weeks stretch. The schools were out yeah, for two weeks. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I yeah. mean, it's it's yeah. It's been really, you know, and it you really do think about these things. So I was at the airport coming back, and I was, you know, I, my luggage was lost because, of course, my plane was one plane was delayed. Some of them were like uh, canceled. You know, it was a mess, and we had a lot of ice here. So I was listening to this young little girl at the airport with her mother um, and I'm from New York originally and I'm living here in North Carolina and I heard this little girl she sounded just like me years ago when I moved here but of course I was young older than she was she was talking to her mother and she was saying she was like 12 and she was saying how she just doesn't understand how people can't drive here and yeah. she was telling this to her mother and I'm listening to this young because you hear that a lot from people who are from you know, the the Northeast or wherever they're from where they are more are very accustomed to driving in bad weather. And I used to sound like this. But honestly, you know, our roads are winding, they're narrow, they're in the country a lot. And I understand it now that, you know, why it takes so long sometimes for the ice to be cleaned up or for the sun to come out and melt the ice. But we don't just get snow. We get iced. Ice. And you get, and today, I went to my garbage pail to put something out, and I wasn't looking down on the ground because most everything was already cleaned up. I almost slid because there was a patch of ice there. So, you know, you just are more cognizant, I think. Yeah, and and we also, since it doesn't happen that often, we don't, the, the, our, our local government doesn't invest in the right equipment Right. To clear. I mean, what do we right. have? We have the garbage trucks have. Right. Uh, right. They put right. The, right. The, the stuff, the salt. They put the salt and all that, right. but they're also the the snow mm. uh, or the, plow. the the highway plows. Right. They, they just convert them real right, quick right, and right. they do I, it. So I honestly think they do a really good job with what they do. Oh, they have. do. Absolutely. You know, I'm real, I really think they yeah. do a good job. But. They can only do but so much. Right. And any place. I don't care where you are. Yeah. If I don't care. It's, oh, my God. Poor Boston. I, I know. I mean, That's even Boston. Bad. Yeah. I mean, a friend of my, mine sent me a picture of her daughter-in-law, who is a, um emergency room doc. And she sent a picture, and she said this was her um, transportation for the day, and it was a police car. So I don't care where you are. You, 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 you fight this, you know, but... Um, some places are a little bit better than others, and we're yeah. very windy here. So if you ever come visit, just know we have a lot of winding roads and all that stuff. So anyway, right. you know. All right, on with the show. So Amnon, who I've been talking to, is our uh, producer. So I just wanted to uh, say good morning to him after the fact of good morning talking again. to him. <laughs> it's nice to see you, Amnon. Anyway, so this show, okay, this show is about breaking free. And breaking free means taking... Um, freedom steps. It means taking, it may be it's a toe of a step. Maybe it's a pinky toe. But whatever it is, it's about going forward. It's about learning, growing together, understanding how this world works, understanding how this works, how you work, 
how our heart works, our mind works, how um, our children work. It's, it's about understanding our life so that we, we can better move in it, move forward, enjoy it, understand it, grow, learn, prosper, and all of those things. And each and every week we come together here, almost like a fireside chat, like we're sitting in somebody's living room and we talk. And I really do encourage you all to call in and chat with me because, you know, I love that. And that's how we all grow. So I want you to feel comfortable in doing that. Uh, we have guests a lot of the time. We've had guests for most of the time. And for the last several weeks, we've decided just to come together, us, and talk about things, a particular subject, uh, something going on in our lives. And we just talk. And sometimes somebody will call in and we'll get completely off the subject, which is perfectly fine with me because that's what's important. And so I don't care. I'll come here with an idea. I come here with a notion of something, but I am more than delighted for you to take me off of my track. So I want to put up the first uh, picture, which is something I put up each and every week, and I want you to see it. Do you have it up? Yes. Speak your mind. This is a license that I am giving you to speak your mind. This is a license entitles you to say what you think without fear of judgment or criticism. You're not getting it from me. In fact, the more I believe, the more we speak up, the more we speak our mind, the more we um, come together and we share how we're feeling, the better the world's going to be. So that's so important, and that is one of the premises behind the show. So open yourself up, and the world will open up with you. And that is my gift and the license for this show. So here's, that's your license to be here today is to feel comfortable in sharing whatever is on your mind, whatever you're going through. If you have a, a question, if you'd like a little bit of advice, um, this is it. Come and talk to us. So today's show is going to be about progress and how we measure it, how we notice it, how we acknowledge it. I find so often that people don't acknowledge their progress. Uh, somebody pays you a compliment and you just kind of poo-poo it away. Could you put up the next slide as a reminder? So the next slide is, and I have to read it, how do you measure progress and what's progress? Because I think it's really important for all of us to grow, to go forward, to get along, to be comfortable in our own skin. I think it's really important to notice it. And I've, one of the ways that this came to me was actually through my taking some yoga. And I realized sometimes when I was taking yoga, I don't know how many of you take yoga or any, any, do any exercise at all, but I noticed one day one, my right leg went a little faster than it had. It kind of went to the top of the mat a little faster. Or I got up and I wasn't shaking as much. Those things to me are extraordinary. And something happened yesterday, which I thought was really interesting, was when I took yoga yesterday, yesterday morning, what, something I was doing was really painful. So, of course, I could look at that and go, I am not getting any better. You know, it's, it still hurts. But then something I did was much better than I had done it. And so I didn't focus on the pain. I focused on the part of my body that did do better and the fact that I could remember more of the uh, postures or the movement. And I think that's really very important for all of us to uh, take note of. And how do you measure your progress? How do you know you're, you're progressing and in, in all parts of your life? So I, I, I want us to focus on that today, and I would love to hear, you know, what you have to say, what you might be going through, uh, and let's explore what progress looks in that area. So um, if you, could you put up the next, do you have a question? Oh, yeah. Okay. So without deviations from the norm, progress is not possible. Frank Zappa. Amnon's got his hand like this. Uh, the reason I'm looking is yeah. because I always told the 
I look like him. I don't. I mean, but I you just, look like hair, Frank Zappa. My hair is to be like that, but I don't know. Oh that. really? Oh my gosh. Well, know. what do you think? Is it progress now that your hair is shorter? Definitely. Okay. So what do you of think? Course. That you have to deviate, that you have to, without deviations from the norm, progress is not right. possible. I don't, it's, it's a standing stare. You know, you're doing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing every time. Right, you don't day. notice it. Right. It's, right? It's, so you can't, you can't progress. You don't notice it. You, you can't progress. You don't, well. If the norm was to just stand in place and go with your feet up and down, then you don't you don't go yeah. forward. Right. But if you, you put it forward, it. you go out of the norm. If that was right. the norm, now right. you start. You have to be willing to go out of your comfort zone. Right. And I think we, and so you have the next one. Hel okay, healthy disconnect, discontent, excuse me, is the prelude to progress. Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. So what's that? What does that mean to you? Discontent. Well, you can be, I mean, with him, what you're thinking about the, that whole revolution thing, it, you're discontent, but it's a healthy discontent. It's not like, it's like ah, I just don't agree with right. that because for the sake of man. No, that, that was, that's the way I look at it. Right. And you, he made, and the people of India made progress. Right. And you, ha sometimes you have to, you feel uncomfortable. Sometimes it's about feeling uncomfortable. A lot of times it's about feeling uncomfortable, isn't it? Sometimes you would. So I just, you know what? My computer was not online just now. How do you like that? And now I'm seeing a whole bunch of chat that I didn't see before. So if I've missed anybody, I apologize. Well, but I, I did mean, not you're, notice you're looking it. At, at the bulk of it. I am right now. I wasn't looking at anything yeah. before. Okay. Yeah. okay. So what have I missed? Let me see. Um, mm -hmm. Anything? Mm -hmm. Are those new glasses? Oh, mm -hmm. Susiani wants to know if I have new glasses. Yep. Yes. And they're blue. So that is progress. Chris already told her. Oh, she did? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Marilyn's hair darker and she looks marvelous. Okay. So everybody out there, so this is part of my, my progress story, okay? And Amnon asked me before, he said, do you, you look different. Now, I don't look different. Oh, well, my hair is straighter, maybe, my glasses, but I've been wearing them for a long time. I've had a really extraordinary experience um, last week with my mother, and I want to talk about it in terms of progress. I, I Many of you who have watched this show before, uh, know that I've, my mother's been on before, and my mother is a, uh, 89. She's going to be 90 in June. She looks really, really good, and she's a really great woman, and I love her to the ends. She's fabulous, and we always get along great, but there's always also been this little thing that I, th I, don't, I didn't know if that little thing exists with all relationships, all love relationships, whether it's with a mother, a father, a husband. I mean, there's all, I don't know. I just know what I know. And, you know, as much as I can feel a total love, um, there was always something. You know, we'd argue a little bit or we'd have a disagreement about something or something. But I went to see my mother and we spent a lot of time together uh, last week and we had the best time. And I realized for the first time uh, that I was experiencing something that I had not experienced before in a love relationship. I was experiencing this infinite love, this wallless, boundless love. Now, I have children, and so I experience a great love with them. But for some reason, I was in this experience with my mother that was totally joyful and it was just it was it was just marvelous and so i think it's made a difference in how i have my patience level with other people with friends with my children with my husband there's something that has changed inside of me and i and i think that it's noticeable in my face it's noticeable in my coloring and I would love to know from other people if you've experienced this kind of thing before. This, to me, is progress. 
it's it's a little different than the progress I felt yesterday on the yoga mat. It's progress. And you you have to be willing to notice, to look, to listen, which is all this, what everything is about. I listened to my mother's smile. I listened to the feeling I had when I was with her. I listened to how I didn't get stuck on something that I might not have agreed with. I just felt this love and those things I didn't agree with just didn't even matter. And it wasn't even that they weren't even popping up anymore. So it was really, um, it was really f great. And I have been writing about it because I, I, um, I, I am trying to figure out what the difference is and where it came from. So sometimes we experience progress, but we don't, we have to analyze it some more. So anyway, I'm really um, excited to share that. And I'm, I really would love to hear from other people. Now, getting back to this Gandhi quote, healthy discontent is the prelude to progress. Sometimes you, you just got to not like something or something feels uncomfortable or you're restless. I mean, what about being restless and just wanting to feel different, to be different, to look different. And that is the impetus. That's a push. That's a, a, a lovely little nudge, a slight little push that says, okay, move a little forward. And I think part of the issue we have sometimes is we expect ourselves to make this leap, like 10 leaps at one time, 10 steps at one time. It doesn't have to be. It could be one little step. I call them freedom steps. One little tidbit of something. And all of those tidbits make a difference. And acknowledging the tidbits, you will often hear me say that acknowledging ourselves is no different than putting gasoline in the car. If you do not acknowledge yourself, you won't go. Just like the car. If you don't put gas in the car, it ain't going anywhere. You got to acknowledge the step. And sometimes only you know what it took to make that step. So you are the only one that knows the emotional um, expression of yourself that it took to actually make that step. It could be something that nobody else would even pay attention to. You have to pay attention. You have to know that that step was extraordinary. And I love sharing these steps. I think it's really important for all of our self-esteems, for the health of the planet, for our children, for the legacy, is for us to acknowledge as many of these steps as we want. And sometimes we don't have to acknowledge them, only we have to know. But our next action, the next thing that we do, is based on the step before. I'm none. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, what do I think? What yeah. do you think? You think it's true? It is true. I mean, yeah, and, and you explain it one way. Somebody else will explain it in a different way, but it all boils down to the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, That's the idea, isn't it? Yeah, which so, is fine. Which is great. So listen, again, you want to call in 919-518-9773. Or you can Skype in with us to computers, that's plural, to the number two K voice. I would love to hear your stories of progress, of, you know, even the ones that are hard, the ones where you fall off the wagon and you get yourself back up. Those stories, any of the stories, because, you know, the stories, my story is going to hopefully give power and permission to somebody else and vice versa. Your stories give me power. My doing this show has changed my life because I get to talk to you. Other people get to talk to me. We get to talk together and, you know, it helps me show up better. So I would love to hear. And, you know, Susiani, she's out on the chat. Susiani is a great example of progress. She picked up a guitar because she heard that I was going to be singing, uh, taking singing lessons. And I don't sing. I mean, I don't even sing well in the shower. And so, but I made that a point of reference for me to say, okay, I'm going to take singing lessons and I'm going to sing in front of people. And which was 
partly the way I got to keep going to this, to get lessons was, you know, getting myself geared up for this. And for me, the progress was maybe two or three words that I sang during this benefit. Uh, the song was Let It Be. That I sang that I knew that I was somewhere right. I'm not sure how right it was, but compared to the how I normally sing, it was somewhere right. It was somewhere where these words were right. And Susiani, who's on our chat, um, had heard that I was going to do this, and she started picking up a guitar. And now she's put it out on YouTube, and she's 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 happy with her progress. She's happy she picked up that guitar. She can't put it down. She can't put it down, right? She's playing all kinds of music, and who cares that she's learning and learning as she goes and maybe not perfect yet. She is perfect in the fact that she's made this dedication to herself to do this. And so this is this is breaking free. This is saying we're not attached to how it looks, that everything we do every day is progress, that every time we're consciously in a, in a step, we're consciously making a choice, that's progress. It's all progress when we look at it. And I don't know, I know that some people are really down on how things look in the world and all this kind of stuff. I see, the, I see it all as, more and more as progress. So I'd like to, again, I welcome anybody who wants to hear more, talk more, share more, to please call us and um, let me hear from you. So the next one, the next slide, you got it? Okay. You don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. Shirley Chisholm. Okay, so implementing ideas. That's an interesting thing to talk about in relationship to progress, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Why is that? I keep putting I'm not on the... No, it's fine. Because I, mean, this, this I love is, to this ask is, him his, his this opinion. This is why they say, you know, well, no, I'm just standing on the sidelines. I'm, I'm not... It's like... Sort of like on... on not, not on the fence, but, you know, I'm not... I don't, I'm not taking any in initiative. Right. I'm just... I'm just watching. Yes. And ideas are... And they don't... That's not how you make progress. No. And ideas are, um, they're not, it's not the end result. It's not where you're done yet. It's an idea. Sometimes we say it's an idea whose time has come, or it's an idea whose time has not come yet. But it's an idea. And so, um, yes. how, how oops, oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little trouble here. I, my computer keeps going offline. How do you like that? I don't know why that is. So I'm not following the chat as well as I would like to because I'm looking at it, but I'm looking at an old one. But um, anyway, ideas are not complete. They're still they're, 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 uh, in progress. Stop your video. It, okay. Just stop the video itself, not, not the page, you know, the video on the bottom left. Click those two double bars, two two bars. You On see the it? bottom left. Bottom left of the actual video. I don't see one, but it's not you moving now. You see the speaker? Now. Yeah, but it's not moving Well, there's now. nothing there to move because it's just a picture. Okay. Sorry, everybody. Um, it's not moving, though. Yeah, but on, anyway, so. okay, so I'm going to technology a little bit, but, you know, we'll roll with it. Um, it. Okay. I'm good? Okay, perfect. So on on to the rescue. Ideas are progress in progress. Ideas are they're not complete. But they are this they are part of progress. Is having ideas. And when you stand on the sidelines and you watch and you don't partake, you're not progressing. And maybe maybe it's time to consider, you know, what your role is. Sometimes being on the sideline and supporting somebody else is creating progress maybe it's not you in the front maybe it's somebody else but how you see it and how you consciously are aware of it is 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 progress so where will you be on the sidelines what are you consciously aware of when you're there are you supporting somebody else or are you 
just hanging out because you're scared? What's the idea? And ideas are really important. Ideas are what created the light bulb. Idea is what, why we're here is because we had an idea. And so then look what happens. Then we create. So let me see what, um, let's see. So Chris is asking a question. Oh, no, Susiani says, I keep track of my progress on a calendar. I put my weight still and have 15 pounds to lose. And also today is 146 days since I've had a cigarette. And yes, it is almost four months since I started playing the guitar. That's fabulous. Congratulations, Susiani. And Chris says, what advice do you have for those who are trying to make progress or changes, but family members don't want to change their ways? Well, this is what I say. You can't control anybody else. You can't hardly, you, you can't control anything. So the best you can do is what you can do for yourself. So regardless of what anybody else does or does not do, you be the change, as Gandhi said, how fitting. You be the change you want to see in the world. And you do what you have to do to make the changes. And sometimes the other people who don't make the change, that is the other part. That's, that's very much what Gandhi said here about discontent. When you see other people not making changes, that can cause discontent inside of you. And that puts a fire under your ass. And it says, okay, I'm going forward. I'm going to do this. And sometimes even competition, you know, healthy competition can also be an impetus for healthy progress. It, I mean, it's how you do things. It's like sometimes you can be angry, right? And that's okay. It's what do you do with the anger that matters. It's the same thing with competition, you know, what do you do with the competition? Do you create progress or do you create, you know, bad feelings with someone? What do you do? So all of those things really make a difference in how going forward. So I would say go forward. Go forward anyway, regardless of somebody else. And I'm, I am hoping and I'm praying that the that progress is coming from your better self, your higher self. And so when you go forward with your higher self. You're going forward and you're not going to uh, railroad somebody. You're not going to run them over. You're going to go forward in as loving a manner as you can muster up and just hope that people catch on. And, and if you go forward this way, in the nicest way possible, chances of them coming in and playing with you in your sandbox is going to be a lot better. So keep that in mind. If you, if you go through and you want to go through progress and you want to knock people over along the way, you're going to knock them over. And they may not get up. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's but, see. But what, yeah, go ahead. But what uh, Chris asked yeah. about family, yeah. there, there are some other rules that need to come into consideration okay, like, there. I mean, like, you know, you can't just leave your, your family behind and go do your own thing. No. You're going to have not. to, you have to discuss, you have to, sure. to somehow yes. work it so you're all going, or you may have to stay back if everybody else says, no, we don't want to do that, and what are you going to do? You know, you want to make a change, you want to make progress, and it just, everybody is resenting, and if you have a wife and three kids, what are you going to do, leave them behind and go? No. Oh. So it's not always it doesn't it's not always black and white. Well, it depends on uh, what what you what you're talking well, about. Well, she was asking about when family don't want to change with you or to go along with you. Well, I think That's, it depends on what it is and I think how you approach the situation, how you is is progress. So, we're not going from point A to point Z. We might have to go to point A between A and B, and then right. to C. So it's those steps. Right. So it it you know it depends on what you're talking about. If you want to, if you think moving to from North Carolina to Arizona is it, well maybe it is. But maybe you have to take the steps. You have to you know show how great Arizona is. You know maybe you ha you want to show your family 
you know, where you're going to live or, you know, what is healthy about Arizona. I mean, you don't just, you know, go there. Are, you have to do certain things, but it doesn't mean you can't work on it. Right. It doesn't mean, and maybe you want to go to Arizona, but then in, in working this thing, this idea of going to Arizona, maybe you find out that, um, Georgia is better. That's progress. You know what I mean? See, that's what I thought yeah. Susanne. She said she wants to move. She has, well, a, she has an opportunity to move to Florida, but she's scared. I said, well, take small steps. Move halfway first to North Carolina. And then... Then sometimes you just have to go visit. You know? I mean, it, the, that is how you notice progress. You know, that is... Sometimes you reflect back and you see progress. You know, it's not always... Well, I want to go forward now, and that's the only way. Sometimes you stop and you go, okay, let me reflect back. What what have I done? What, you know, what where, where have I come from? What have I accomplished? And that's progress. So there's so many ways. Um, there lies the problem. I cannot afford to visit and then still afford to move. So I would say to, first of all, I would ask want to ask Susiani some questions like, why Florida? You know? Why, why would she choose the, there to, to move to? What is it about Florida? And maybe, you know, you have to take, you have to look at certain things and analyze them a little bit. Okay, let's go to the next Chris, slide. Chris, yeah. look at what Chris said before. Let's see. Before Susiani. I want my family to move to a... Gluten-free gluten -free and what is the... Yeah, as right. the primary cook and food shopper for the family, I could force it on them, but that doesn't feel like progress to me. Well, I would say, why force it? And what are they holding on to? And why don't they want to? Why don't they want gluten-free or whatever? And I, then I'm start with that. Time, I'm having a hard time that anybody who's given gluten-free something would know, oh, you changed, you gave me gluten. I mean, I'm, I'm not a well, gluten-free eater, right. but I mean, when... Somebody says, oh, that was good. I mean, well, I think there's I, compromise so in things. I would do. I would force it if, if you're buying. Yeah. You know what's right. And then when they know, oh, well, there's no difference. And it's better for us. Okay, Emma, right. thanks. Right. I think that there is um, there's compromise in things, even with yourself. And I think sometimes that scares people, is that they imagine having, they can't imagine going the steps that it's not progress if they if they don't accomplish. In other words, losing weight is a perfect example. Losing weight, people, you know, 15, 20, 50, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever it is, and they don't feel the progress until they get to their goal. That's not necessarily where, where you only find progress. You find progress in a dress size, in a pant change, in the fact that your legs are not as swollen as they used to be, in the fact that your shoes fit better, um, it, that's progress. The fact that maybe you're sleeping better, maybe you can sleep on your left side where you're only used to be able to sleep on your right side, that's progress. You don't have to wait till you accomplish the entire goal to experience progress. But I can promise that if you notice the progress along the way, you're going to be more apt to reach your goal or you're going to be more apt to even change the goal and not be so attached to the goal at the end, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you might envision this one goal, but as you do the progress that you didn't think, you know, that you then you are experiencing this progress. You're feeling it. And then you realize, wow, that goal was too small. I can have a bigger goal in mind, and I know I can do that. So... Progress is a really interesting thing to uh, pay attention to. Um, I, w I would, t I would yeah. tell Chris one simple thing. If you're trying to convert them, start doing the, the foods that they like. If you're going to make cookies, if you're going to make whatever that right. they want, right. make it gluten-free, don't tell them, and let them taste, and then tell them. And when they realize, oh, we had this, oh, we had that, and that was good. Right. Oh, come right. on. Right. Because people don't know. I mean, they right. don't know how it tastes. What was that saying that you were? Which one? 
You don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. That's right. That's a that's a good point. So uh, I'm not and I were, were chatting a little bit before the show, you know, and um, he said he was telling. I don't know. He was telling somehow me about, it came yeah, up. Somehow it came up, and I said, "You don't know what you don't know till you know it." Mm-hmm. Right. So you know, people don't always know everything. And sometimes it's in reflection or like with Amnon and I, we were talking about some things and I said, wow, you know, in in retrospect now, wow, I got it or I felt it or I saw it, you know. And it's really, it's so important, I think, also to be around people in general that are your cheerleaders, that you can share those steps of progress that you can share what you don't know, you know, and they're not going to, you know, uh, pass judgment. I mean, really, it's really important to find people in your life that encourage you, that recognize the fact that, wow, that was a step. And if even if they don't, can't experience it themselves, just by you telling them and the fact that they care about you as much as they do, they can sit back and go, wow. That was a really cool step forward, and I can imagine. Because I can't be in, put, put myself in everybody's shoes. And, you know, maybe the gluten-free thing, I would just say, you know, I'd probably just cook it and, you know, say, you know, here. But because I know it's, you know, what is it in gluten-free that's so bad? It's not. It's just regular good food. But, you know, whatever it might be. So surround yourself with people who are encouraging, who help you progress, who are willing to, you know, share their progress as well. So you can have like a progress party. I think that's really, um, really a cool thing to do. So you don't always know it till you know it. But at least when you know it, acknowledge it. Do you know what I mean? Acknowledge it. So this next um, quote, all progress takes place outside the comfort zone, which is something that we kind of chatted before, um, which I think, you know, you're not going to challenge yourself or notice something until you're outside the zone, until you stretch yourself, challenge yourself. Otherwise, what's progress? Is it, 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 Look, and sometimes progress, okay, well, look, Sometimes progress can be staying in a place that you've not stayed before. And maybe it's a, maybe staying in a, you know what? Maybe sometimes staying in the comfort zone for some people is progress. Because maybe so, sometimes we're so, we're so used to, you know, making changes and going forward. And always moving forward, and always moving forward. And maybe sometimes just staying put is a good thing, too. And I think that's something that uh, I just thought, uh, I was just thinking about. It's important, isn't it? That sometimes just being comfortable can be progress for somebody else. So once again, 919-518-9773 or Skype in with us to computers. That's plural, number two, K voice. Again, um, we'd love to chat with you and hear your, um, your points of view. You know, not just mine. I mean, but I'd love to hear yours. So the next slide, I love this one. Safe is risky. Right? What do you think, Amnon? Safe is risky. Why? Why do you think uh, safe? I don't want to get into this because I can get into a lot of politics here. Oh, you could? <laughs> well, that might be important. No. Why is safe? Why is, um, why is it? Come on, Amnon. Uh, I am all continuously amazed at? at how the American public okay. is not willing to, to have steps taken to really keep the public safe. And they ra- rather feel safe not, not, 
not doing anything towards it, if it makes sense. What do you mean? Yeah, good. I mean, good. like, you know, in Israel, in other countries, um, security is very important. And people right. are, you know, you, you go into a, a supermarket, somebody will, is going to search your pocket. Right, right. I mean, you and, and things like that. Now, right. I, I there, there's a story also that are, like in Pakistan, where right. there's, you want to have a, a cell phone? Fingerprints. Can you imagine what would happen here if you went to Verizon and you want to get a, buy a cell phone and they say, well, we need your fingerprints first? What do you think? I mean, you see, the, but that's that's the thing is that that's where safe is risky. I mean, we're taking in a risk and something could ha bad happen. And until something bad happened, we're not willing to give any anything that we think some people are telling us is our privacy, our individuality, our call it whatever you want. But some of these things, you know, no. I mean, you know, like like the, that those kids that go to school unvaccinated, right, and sick. I mean, isn't that irresponsible of the parents to do? Well, fine, you don't want to vaccinate them. That's okay, but don't send them with my kids. So they are not willing to do anything to keep everybody safe. So now it's they're safe. They feel okay. Well, we did not vaccinate. We feel we're we're safe, but it's a risky situation when you look at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Well, it 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 can it can be, and but somebody who's not vaccinating is saying might be saying to themselves that they are standing up for something. Absolutely, but, you know, and it's they, fine. Yeah. But don't send your kids to mingle with mine, especially when they're sick. Right. Because now it's just like driving a car into a crowd or mm -hmm. taking a gun and pointing it at somebody. Right. 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 But that, so why that's is that? That's where being... the risk is. Right. Mm -hmm. And you should be responsible enough mm -hmm. to feel like, yeah, I'm taking a risk by sending the kids to school unvaccinated. I don't want to vaccinate them because I feel like mm -hmm. I shouldn't and I'm going to stand up for mm -hmm. it. And I'm all with you. Don't mm -hmm. do it if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. But right. be responsible enough to know what to do when the public is involved, other kids are involved, and all that. Mm -hmm. Don't create the risk. Mm -hmm. And and who is being safe? They you feel so you're saying that those those families or those individuals They're, they feel safe because mm -hmm. they said I'm not vaccinating. They're not going to get no, that's a good point autism or whatever you know. Mm -hmm. It's yeah that's that's why they don't vaccinate because they're afraid that something will happen. So they feel mm -hmm. safe. Okay, I'm doing everything for my kid, for their own good, for their own sake, and for the kid's sake. I hope they're right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I hear your point. Of course, some you know people are going to say, "What? I'm going to get vaccinated for every possibility that exists." So, you know, but it is a point, and you know, and it's unfortunate that we do have to go into buildings and be frisked. It's unfortunate that you know, when I went through the airport last week, I was one of the few that didn't have to take my boots off. You know, that I had priority, whatever, for some reason, I have no clue why. It's unfortunate that pe we have to go through that. Because you look like a terrorist. That's I look right. like a terrorist. <laughs> it's unfortunate that I have to lock my door. Right. Right. So and is this progress? Susie so is this progress? What is Susie? Susie was saying that things were so much simpler in the fifties. You didn't lock the door back then, did you? No. Nope. Didn't. Yeah. Didn't. And my parents would tell you that they could walk on Forty Second Street yep. in Manhattan, and we didn't have to worry about our children being abducted. Right. So along with progress comes what? Mm, what kind? Thing. Are we talking progress then? Yeah. Well. What are we talking? So what is progress then? I ask you. For me, progress is being able to stand up in yoga, and um, not falling over and not having my knees shake and not being in pain. That's progress. But is progress with the internet? You know, and all of the things that come along with that, do we consider progress to be, you know, internet porn? That does that come along with it? And how do we 
Um, I mean, how do we separate it out? How do we, or does it, it all come along comes, with the ride? It comes with the territory. With the yeah. territory. And it's part of our responsibility not to be on the sidelines then. Right. To oh, stand up for yeah. what we believe, whether it's vaccination or not, you know, that um, that it's up to us to stand up and say, okay, that's why I'm doing this show. That is the reason why the show got created to begin with, because I got sick and tired of watching people be controlled by a group of people with a gun mm -hmm. or people telling us all what to do when it wasn't the right thing to do. I got tired of, you know, I want to see people feel empowered, you know, to be a, a, in, in a group that says, okay, we're not taking this anymore, you know, that I'm going to learn how to be strong and grow, whether we're educating women in Afghanistan or we're standing up for our children in here or, you know, whatever it is. I mean, along with our personal progress, and sometimes you look at these things also that are happening in the world that are, you know, in some, some ways I look at them and I go, <sighs> But then I think to myself, but that's getting me off my ass. Mm -hmm. If I didn't see those things happening, I wouldn't maybe not have said, well, let me do this now. Right. Maybe I would have, oh, you know, whatever, let somebody else will do it or whatever. That's the same thing with everything that we, that we do. We and need you, to learn from these things. We need to learn from these things. They need to, which I think they're doing. I think there's a lot of progress because I think people, us, you, me, all of us, are taking some matters into our hands in a good way. I mean, Amnon creates this phenomenal opportunity. Again, I've said this before. If you've watched the show, you've heard it. But if you haven't watched it, well, I'm sitting in a, in a, in a room where there's cameras, there's computers, where there used to be TVs. Um, Amnon's got a board where he can adjust the sound and the video and all this stuff. If he wasn't, if he didn't get pissed off at something or, you know, then he wouldn't have done this. He would have just gone along, maybe stayed at the little radio station right. that he was at and just went along his business and that was it. But he said, uh-uh. But he had to feel, I guess you felt good enough about yourself. Sure. Right? To say, I have something to share. Now, often, you know, like, okay, I'm writing a book. Now, I am not a good writer. Okay, I am a struggling writer, just like they're a struggling artist. I am a struggling writer. I am not, it doesn't flow. I don't like it. It takes too much time. I'd rather just say it. I'm a, I'm a speaker. I am not a great writer, but I know that I have an idea. And so I am a facilitator is what I'm at, is what I am. So I'm going to facilitate people to help me write this book. So people with ideas of, con it's, and it's about conflict, because I think that the more you shine a light on something, um, the less it's, it's uh, less it has to scare us, the more we dissect it, the more we understand it. I want us to understand how to understand conflict, how to make peace with other people, and ultimately with ourselves. Same thing with progress. I think the more we look at these things that are good and the more we look at things that we don't like, the more we can approach the things and take matters in our own hands, which is exactly what we're doing. Like I said, I'm sitting here in this phenomenal space, being able to talk to you and you kind of sort of talking to me. I feel the energy. Um, I, I feel it. I know you're listening and I know you're watching. And I know that somewhere along the way, somebody is hearing something that, you know, through my uh, stream of, of, of talking, is hearing something and going, okay, then, I, then it's okay for me to do that. It's okay for me to feel that. It's okay for me to say no more to that. That's what I want. And let me see what's being said here. Um, so in order to progress, you need to take the initiative. Absolutely. Uh, progress equals fear. Yes, it does. And very much so. But again, shine a light on fear. What the heck does it mean anyway? I mean, fear. Okay. So I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to do this or I'm scared to do that. Okay. Okay. 
but the clo the more I get closer to the fear, that that's progress. The more I understand that I'm scared, progress, right? So it's really it's. I I don't want to minimize all this stuff and say everything is wonderful, but honestly, we it's not that it's not doesn't have to be so bad, and I really believe that um, we do make it. Bad, worse than it has to be. Um, so let's see. Uh, uh, is the so overcoming our fear is the greatest progress? Yeah, and, and maybe we won't completely. Maybe we can't wipe fear away completely. You know, maybe it's about this we take care of it, and maybe it's about this we okay. take care of it, and you know, whatever. All along the way, we're going to approach it and chip away at it, and I think that's. That's progress. What does it look like? What are you going to do today? What will you do tomorrow? Can you take a step? Can you make an acknowledgement? Can you look at something in a better way? That's progress. Can you turn the news on and not get totally pissed off and say, okay, can you see through the news? Can you hear a broadcaster, a news commentator, share the news in a different way? Maybe I did. I was listening to CNN one day, and I heard the commentator say, well, the energy is changing. And I went, oh, my God, that was on CNN. Can you hear those things? That's progress. Can you pick them out? Can you see the cherry on the tree? That's progress. And the more we see those things, and the better it is, and the more we are aware of it, share it, and then take the initiative to make a difference, the better it's going to be. Okay, so we have another slide coming. Oh, I want to say something else. Safe is risky. Yes. I'm not brought up one point. I'm going to bring up another. Because if I only remain safe, for me, my personal self, that would be risky. Because I personally can't get to, don't want to get to the end of my life and not having done certain things. And it's risky. I have some things I have to do. I want to finish my mother's recipe book. I have to do that. If I don't do it, I'm going to feel terrible. There's some things that I just have to do. I'm writing a book about conflict, several books about conflict. It's one of those ideas that if I, I just have to do it. It's So, okay, next one. Do not confuse motion and progress. A rocking horse keeps moving but does not make any progress. Treading water. Treading water. So motion and progress. A rocking horse keeps moving but does not make any progress. I mean, I think it's a personal thing. I think you have to take a look. I mean, I, I bring these quotes in, and some of them I absolutely love. And then others I look at and go, eh, I can find fault with that one. I can, not fault, but I can, I can find a hole in that one. So it's a personal thing. You, and no judgment, you have to take a look at your own personal life. And you have to go, this is just a time out for me. I'm moving, but it's just a time out. I'm not progressing, but I am moving. That's progress. How you look at yourself, that's progress. Next one. Some quit due to slow progress. Never grasping the fact that slow progress is progress. Please, please, if you get nothing from this, just know that your being here is progress. That I'm doing this show this way with nobody here other than I'm none, you know, no guests, is progress. You know, it's progress. Give us, and, and, and give me credit because it's not easy. And I give you credit for being here because I know some. it's not easy. So thank you for being here. Everything we do, that we're that we can on, that we can be honest, not even honest, but that we can somehow be aware of, and you when you put that awareness on it, that's progress. Okay, next one. And I love this one. Behold the turtle; he only makes progress when he sticks his neck out. <laughs> So it's interesting, and I'm going to say this really quick. I'm being interviewed, uh, well, I'm on a hangout on Friday uh, about happiness in business. 
and I am the guest, and I'm usually the one doing the asking. Okay, so progress. Um, but anyway, today is the promo, which is on Google Plus at 4.42, crazy time. And the promo is people asking me, who are, who am, who are you? Okay. And they're going to be like three or four people just constantly asking me, who am I? And I'm really interested in who I find myself to be at the end of today, because I am an experiment. I am, I am a, a growth in progress. I am a life growing in, I'm like a plant. You put a little water on me and I'm going to grow, right? I'm, I'm growing and I'm growing with you. And I'm, you know, I don't have, again, I don't have all the answers and I sometimes don't even have the question, but I am observing, I'm listening, I'm growing, I'm tripping, I'm loving, I'm exploring, I'm willing to share. And I hope that next time we come next week, you will share with me too. Because, um, I mean, we're experiments for each other. So progress, please, please, please. Today, take a look at what you're doing. What have you noticed you've done? Where have you come from? How far have you traveled? Where are you and where do you want to go? And step by step, let's go. If you have any questions at all, if I can be of any support at all, please connect with me. You can see it above my head. Uh, Give me a holler. I'd love to hear. Love to hear what you, how you, how you are doing it. Come on to the, our Facebook page and share, comment, look at my blog, comment, um, call into the show, anytime and comment. And what, what do we have? We have one more. We have one more what? One more. Slide. Uh, oh, slide. Yeah. Th oh, I'm not so good at this. Okay. What's the last slide? Social. Oh, this is too big can be measured by the, okay, social progress can be measured by the social position of the female sex. I think it's too big for one minute. I'm going to bring it next week because there's a lot to talk about there. And I think it's too big to... Uh, That's interesting. Karl it, Marx is talking about female sex and positions. That's interesting. We're going to talk about that <laughs> next week because it's too much to talk about and we only have a minute left. But this was really, oh, I thank you so much for being here and um, for holding up the show. And our numbers are growing, which is lovely. Bring your friends. Share the show from YouTube. Um, got any comments? Love to hear it. Want to be, you, you have a topic that you want to discuss? Love to hear it. I don't, uh, have or again, I don't I come at sometimes and I don't have a topic. I just come and I don't have a clue what I'm gonna say. But I just show up, I just come. Um Amnon comes and we have all these people on the chat. So, you know, just show up. That's progress. And if you've never been uh on this show before, I've never heard it before, I'm very happy that you uh showed up, that you found us. I don't know, quinky dinky maybe, maybe not. Uh, come next week, it'll be different. I'm still going to talk, but the subject will certainly um, be different. So might end up with the same thing, because when you're talking about freedom, you end up there. So anyway, with that, I want to tell you all, thank you so much for being here. For those of you that have come before, great. Be come again. For those of you that are new, come again. And we'll talk to you all next week. Bye. tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Health In with Debbie Brooke, Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Lessons of Vietnam with NCBBI members, The Tanya Love Show, Your Healthy Pet with Gisela DiCarlo. And if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by Atomus.com. 
makers of quality video recorders and converters for professionals. CarolinaApparel.com and DeltaForce.net.